The change of the seasons is kind of hard on a guy. I had to get gas and I needed a couple things from the store. So I went to Wally World, Walmart. And while I was there, I saw a lot of neat stuff and I got some things that were on sale for Christmas presents. Now, Brian and Scott are getting t-shirts that have nerdy stuff on it. Like, well, I got one for myself that's got AH in a little square like it's a, a an element on the periodic table and it says, ah, the element of surprise. <laughs> That one's for me. Then there's two other ones I got for Brian and Scott. And then I got my brother, since he deals with electronics, it has a little uh, schematic of a resistor. And it says resistance is futile. <laughs> He'll know it's a Star Trek thing. I think. I believe so. <laughs> and then I got this stuff here. This... The guys are getting that stuff. I don't know what to do about my sister-in-law, Lisa. I'll have to think of something. But this is what else I got. I got Spence and Felix both fly high, fly guy. I read it at the store, so I know what... It's really a cute book. It's really cute. It's by Ted Arnold. And I got him some stretchy gloves. And a little cone that says... You're terrific. And I got both Ashley and Marley long Well, no, they're not long sleeve, but they're long. They have pants to go with it. They're real soft cotton, comfy uh, pajamas. Then the twin girls. I got two different... It came as a set with two different prints for a sleeper. I got three to six months. I don't know how big they are. But they can fit into them eventually. There's one of that, the Fly Guy book. It's really cute. It really is. Fly Guy flew high into the sky. He used his super fly eyes to spy their house. <laughs> oh, look, he's got other stories too. I'll have to check those out as well. Felix says, Awesome. He's got sidewalk chalk, the gloves. This box I'm going to put the, the sidewalk chalk in, and then this thing, Felix has a letter F for his bedroom door. This, I'm going to put both of the girls' names on here, Charlotte and Violet. And I'm going to paint it and then have it like a garden fence or something with the, the flowers so they can hang it on the door. That's going to be fun to do. Then I got this top for myself. It was marked down to $5. It was like $23, and they marked it down to $5 because it's the end of the summer. So, and yeah, I tried it on over my shirt, and it seemed to fit. There's no hard underwires or anything. It's just a matter of fitting tight. I got this fake lime. It's plastic. I'm going to cut a hole in each end and put a small flashlight in there so it will be a limelight. And this, I'm going to put a bakeable clay on there and make an Oscar the Grouch in a trash can and spray paint it gold. This is for a guy's birthday that I'm invited to his party next month. And he's in the theater. So I'll say you always like to be in the limelight. So here's your limelight. And here's your Oscar. That's what I'm going to do. Just after 7 p.m. We got my buddy here. He's getting all handsome. He cleans himself up. Then he licks my leg. I guess because he doesn't want to lean against a dirty leg. <laughs> and he'll be here for about an hour at least. Or until I have to go to the bathroom. Because I'm on a recliner chair and it all folds up when I get up. So I'm not sure if it's the change of the seasons or the Earth's orbit or whatever it is. But I've been real, really tired. I mean, like My axle's been dragging, as they say. Really tired. I could just be unconscious all day. Well, a little more than normal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh... 
went to Wally World, and after Wally World, I went to get gas. I have an app on the phone called Gas Buddy. You, anywhere else in the U.S. and Canada, you can get Gas Buddy on your phone. Um, gas Buddy tells you the cheapest gas, and it even shows you on a map how to get there or whatever. The cheapest map, I mean, the cheap, and you can set a radius. I set a 25 mile radius. And about 15 miles from the house here is a an Indian casino, Morongo, and out front of there is the cheapest gas around. $5.10 a gallon. That's the cheap stuff. And it goes up from there. Well, close to home here, within the two or three miles, the gas is $6.89 for the cheapest. <laughs> On friggin' believable. I filled up because I'm going to start having to watch Spencer more often and pick him up from school more often. And, uh, yep, when I was at Wally World, I stopped in the cosmetics section because I see all these commercials of this stuff, of, of cologne or perfume with pheromones in it that drives the men crazy. So I asked the lady, is Walmart supposed to carry it? And she said, she kind of chuckled and she said, no, we don't have anything like that. And she must have really thought it was funny after I walked away. You know, some old lady asking for the kind of stuff that drives men crazy. You want to jump your bones? I'm ready. <laughs> hey, I'm old, but I'm not dead yet. Anyway, I came back and... I was doing stuff here. I ate leftovers and all. Put the refrigerated stuff away. And I could hear Spencer at the door going, Hi! 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 We went over to the door and I was talking to him through the door. He wanted over and I said, Well, it's almost time for supper. And I'm going to be eating soon. And I know you will be too. So we talked for a little bit. And I put my fingers under the door. It's got a little gap like that. I put my fingers under the door and he stepped on my fingers. I could feel his toes and the socks and I was talking to him. I said, oh, you're wearing socks. And he picks up some book with nursery rhymes and he starts playing them. And I was singing along. And then he gets a, that smart act. Smart aleckness, you know, he starts pushing the button two, three, four times. And it starts over and starts over and starts over. Then I took my braid, he always plays with my braids, and he, he yanks the band off all the time. So I put my braid under that, um, the slit under the door, and I felt, dunk, and I knew he pulled the, the band off. And I said, oh, you pulled the band off, and I could hear kind of, he, he, he was kind of like, <laughs> and I said, what color is the rubber band? Blue. Blue. And I said, oh, okay. And I stuck my fingers under there for him to give it back so I, we could do it again. And uh, I couldn't quite get it. He was trying to, and then the next thing you know, his little fingers came through with the band on top. And I took the band off. <laughs> oh, he's such a sweetheart. Kitty Cat is looking at something. and I don't know what he's looking at. A fly or something? I don't know. <sighs> yep, that turmeric in hot milk at night does help. It gives you dreams and stuff. It hasn't really been bad dreams. Last night it was a lot of different stuff. Uneasy maybe, but it wasn't bad. And that, there were three giant snakes in my dream, and I was trying to look it up on the phone. And it said, uh, snakes usually mean a change. Or that something's going to change or something. Okay. The other day I, I picked up Spencer and I was coming back home. There's about two miles where you have to get off the highway ahead of time. And it's two miles to our main street here. They're supposed to build an interchange for us in a few years, I guess. But... Anyway, uh, there was some red car was riding my bumper. I'm going the speed limit. I'm not an a-hole. And there's a school down in that neck of the woods, so I was slowing down. This guy w was on my bumper, and I tapped the brakes. 
only made him madder. And he was riding my bumper even closer. I mean, he might as well have taped himself to me. And I turned, and then he was right behind me. And there's a double yellow line. You're not supposed to cross it. This mf -er crossed the line, and I flipped him off. But he got way ahead of me. But th there's a stop sign, and I turned left into this subdivision. Well, so did he. By the time I turned left into the subdivision, I don't know which way he went. I think I might know which way he went. So if I take a walk in the morning, I'm going to look for that car. <sighs> Do I hold grudges? Sometimes. Most of the time, no. But sometimes, it's like, I, I feel like a vigilante. They need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> I'm sure you all have that kind of feeling sometimes too. I, I know you do. We all do. It's only human, I suppose. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm hungry, thirsty, tired. I don't know. I probably just go be better go to bed. I'm gonna drink my turmeric milk and see what dreams it brings tonight. Upward and onward.